welcome, and here we go. Hello folks, we are going to do a donut tutorial. So how to make donuts in a box. So this is the one that I made just to test it out. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is we're in Tinkercad. So you wanna sign into Tinkercad and then we're gonna create a new design. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that it names it something really funny. I actually like the way it names things, but then you can never find things later. So we're gonna change the name here and we're gonna call it donuts okay or donuts in a box whatever you want to call it okay and then this is Tinkercad most of you are familiar with it um, all the shapes you add are over here and then there's some tools that light up across the top for us to use after we've inserted shapes so um, let's get started the first thing we're gonna insert which I know sounds funny since we're trying to make donuts but we're gonna put a sphere in first so I'm gonna put a sphere and I'm not gonna change its size I'm just gonna put a sphere and then I'm going to take a box and I am going to change the size of the box. So I'm going to make it a uh, 10 high. Okay. And then I'm going to make it uh, 60 by 60. Nope, that's not right, Lori. That's not right, Joan. 60 by 20. Sorry, 60 by 20. So it's 10 high, 60 long, and uh, 20 wide. So now we're going to use a tool that I don't know if most of you are familiar with, but it makes things really easy in, in uh, Tinkercad. You're going to draw a box around the whole thing. So you've selected the sphere and the box. And we're going to come up here to this left hand side. See this tool? It's duplicate and repeat, which is amazing. I didn't even know this existed. So uh, we're going to click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this angle to 45. Okay, 45 degrees, wrong direction, Jones. We're gonna change, that's not the right angle. Let's start that over again. Duplicate, and we want this angle to be 45. There we go, and then we just keep doing it. And doing it, and doing it, and doing it. Look at, it's making a donut. Po we just made a cruller and we didn't even have to try. Okay. So now we need to get rid of the red boxes on the bottom. So to do that, uh, you just click them and delete them with the keyboard. So all right, and we're left with this ring that looks kind of like a cooler. So it looks like a blue cooler. We are not making coolers for the Smurfs. So let's change the color. So the way we can do that is by selecting it all and going up here where it says solid and then choosing a color that looks more like a donut. Um, so something like that. And then we can, we're gonna move it up here because we're gonna go on to something else. Now, we can, so that it all stays together, all the spheres are stuck together, we can group it. So this is the grouping setting right there. And now, if I pick it up and move it, it moves all of the whole thing instead of just each individual sphere. Donut number one, done. Okay, donut number two. Donut number two, we're gonna use this torus because guess what? It looks like a donut. So it's halfway done. Um, what we're gonna do is change the size of it though. I think I'm gonna make it 55. And oh, now we have a weird oblong donut, 55. There we go. And this depth, uh, we're gonna we're gonna duplicate this and stack them one on top of each other. So. You can see, I just used the little arrow here, so I'll separate it completely, so you can see that there's actually two. See, there's two. So we wanna stack them together. Now, I think they are a little bit maybe too thin. So let's change this five to nine. That's better. And um, there we go. Nine and Let's do the bottom one nine two. Let's do this one nine as well. It's nine. And we'll move one on top of the other. Now, why am I moving one on top of the other? Well, this lets us make it look more like a donut. It lets us um, have two colors. You know how donuts are like fried and they have the 
one side sometimes is fried a little bit more than others and so it looks like it's two different colors that's what we're gonna we're gonna try to replicate here so if we use two of these it's it looks more like a donut now if you notice you'll see I can hear you right now cedar telling me that this is very jagged and you are correct so let's fix that and the way to do that is over here see this little box that comes up you can have sides and steps so let's change this up to 24 sides both of them and look at it's so much more smooth it's fantastic so we're gonna keep this at 24 24 and we're not gonna mess with the radius or the tube but now let's make them two different colors so let's make the bottom one um, maybe a lighter color than the top one so how about this and this check that out now I'm not overly happy you can play around with this until you get the donut to be the thickness that you want um, I kind of feel like it's not thick enough so I might just puff these up a little bit more um, so that they look there that's a little bit more like a donut all right now we're gonna group these so that they work together so draw a box around them and then go up to the group thing they're the I don't even know what to call that it's a square in a circle it's a grouping icon so once you have that we're going to move this one up beside our cooler two out of three donuts done now we need to make a third donut oh look these two are the same color I wanted them to be different colors why did that happen nope oh it's selecting both of them now I have to ungroup them see this is how you problem solve so ungroup there we go there we go two of them okay you just need to know when you move this one that it's two pieces and you have to draw a box around it the next one we're gonna make another donut but we're gonna make it have like pink icing and sprinkles like it does on the Simpsons so why would we model this again when we could just duplicate it with this fancy schmancy thing over here so we're going to to select both of those and we're gonna go duplicate look at that whole donut I didn't even have to do anything I pushed a button okay so the top one let's make it have some pink icing so we're gonna change it and make it have some pink Ooh, that's the whole thing not helpful I just want the top okay let's see if we can just change the top pink icing look we're almost all the way to a Homer Simpson donut now we just have to make some sprinkles so sprinkles you can make by using the cylinder so I'm gonna bring the cylinder in and now obviously I don't want to sprinkle that big so you can change the dimensions of the sprinkle by grabbing the boxes and making it more into sprinkle size that looks more sprinkly size I know it's quite long so we can make it shorter okay and then let's make it a color so this is where you get to have fun you can make whatever color sprinkles you want um let's do a blue sprinkle yeah why not and then you can use this rotation tool here um, and rotate it until you get a sprinkle that lays flat um, or you might have it stick up a little bit it's entirely up to you so uh, you just move it around remember to rotate so you can see where you are in space otherwise it might not be where you think it is um, and get it sitting in there now I don't really like 45 degree angle that's not gonna work for me so we're gonna change the angle again okay we'll keep selecting the donut in the background let's change the sprinkle angle uh, let's change it to 25 why not see what it does all right uh, 22 that's not so bad okay so now you can see when I move it it's like floating in space it looks like it's on the donut it is not on the donut so this is why you have to change your view um, and then you can use the arrows to kind of get it embedded and move it around Ooh, changing the size it's a little tricky to move around sometimes all right so you're gonna do that and then once you get a few of them on here so I would do like four or five of them then I would select all of the sprinkles and use the duplicate button so that you can just add five or six sprinkles at a time and then once you're done 
you're going to group it all together. No, we're not. Otherwise, we lose our color. Jump, get it together. Um, we're going to highlight it and move it. Now, if you want to put them in a box, you can take the cube and we're just going to make it the full length of the, the grid here so that all of the donuts fit in it. Okay. And it's not wide enough, so we need to make it wider. But right now, it's just a solid cube. So what you need to do is you need to put a hole inside it. So see how it's hole? So these ones with the stripes in them are holes. So what you can do is put a cube in here and adjust it so that it covers the inside of the box fairly well. You can go to the top view to make sure you know you're, you can see. All right. Okay. So I have a pretty even box around the outside, but it doesn't look like anything yet. So this is where the grouping and ungrouping comes in. So I'm going to select them both. And oh, I got a donut in the background too. Not helpful. Okay, select them both and then group them. And now, see, oh, we took the bottom of the box. So let's undo that. And then let's bring this up a little bit and try that again. So we don't take the bottom out of the box. Group. There we go, we have a box. Now, you can take your donuts and you can just lay them in the box or you could tilt them so that they stand up in the box. Of course, your donuts will look better because you'll spend more time on them than I did. But there's my donuts in a box. Wah! Happy modeling!